Have you ever wondered who intercedes for you in the spiritual realm when your words fail you? It's a question that's both deep and thought-provoking. In our spiritual journey, we often grapple with understanding the unseen. One such enigma is the Holy Spirit. Often, we perceive the Holy Spirit as a nebulous force, an ethereal gust of divine wind. But there's so much more to it. The Holy Spirit is not just a force, it's a person. A person with a specific role in our lives, especially as an intercessor. An intercessor who advocates for us, who pleads our case when we are at a loss for words, who stands in the gap for us. But how does this work? What does it mean for the Holy Spirit to intercede for us? This video will delve into the role of the Holy Spirit as an intercessor using various Bible verses as our guide. The term intercessor may sound complex, yet it is simply someone who intervenes on behalf of another, especially through prayer. So what does it mean to be an intercessor? Picture this. You're in a court of law, you've been accused, and the evidence is stacked against you. You know you're guilty. But then someone steps forward, a lawyer who pleads your case before the judge. He speaks on your behalf, arguing for mercy, understanding, and forgiveness. That's what an intercessor does. Now, let's delve into the Bible, specifically to the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 26 and 27. Here we find a beautiful illustration of the Holy Spirit serving as our intercessor. The scripture reads, In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Through this passage we can glean three vital points about the role of the Holy Spirit as our intercessor. First, he steps in to help us when we are weak. We all have those moments when we feel worn out, run down, or just plain overwhelmed. That's when the Holy Spirit steps in. Secondly, he prays for us, even when we don't know what to pray for. Ever had those moments when you're so flustered, so confused, so lost in your circumstances that you can't even find the words to pray? That's when the Holy Spirit prays on our behalf, expressing our deepest longings and desires. Lastly, he always prays in accordance with God's will. This means that the Holy Spirit aligns his prayers with God's plans and purposes for our lives. He never prays against God's will, but always for it. Indeed, the Holy Spirit is our divine helper, stepping in when we are at a loss for words, praying for us in line with God's will. But how does this intercession by the Holy Spirit look in our daily life? It's no coincidence that you have found your way to our channel today. Perhaps there's a divine purpose waiting to unfold. Welcome to our family of intercessors, a community bound by faith, devotion, and the power of prayer. Now, you may be wondering, how can you be part of this mission? It's easier than you think. By subscribing to our channel, hitting the like button, and leaving your thoughts in the comments, you're helping our community grow. So take a moment to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to hit the like button also. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 18, the Apostle Paul urges us to pray on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests guided by the Spirit. This isn't a mere suggestion, but an explicit instruction. It's as if Paul is saying, don't just pray when you feel like it or when it's convenient. Engage with the Spirit. Let him guide your prayers. This is where the Holy Spirit's intercession comes into play. We all have moments when we are at a loss for words, when our hearts are heavy, or when we simply don't know what to pray for. In these moments, the Holy Spirit takes the reins. He knows our hearts, understands our needs, and speaks on our behalf. He intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. Now let's turn to the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 20. Here we are encouraged to build ourselves up in our most holy faith and to pray in the Holy Spirit. This verse underscores the importance of the Holy Spirit's role in our prayer life. Praying in the Spirit means allowing the Holy Spirit to guide our prayers, to lead us into truth and to align our desires with God's will. It's about surrendering our own agenda and letting the Holy Spirit intercede on our behalf. In essence, the Holy Spirit acts as a divine translator, taking our imperfect prayers and presenting them to God in a way that aligns with his perfect will. The Holy Spirit's intercession is not a one-time event, 
but a continuous process that takes place every time we pray. Through these verses, we see that the Holy Spirit's intercession is a profound gift, enabling us to pray effectively even when we don't know what to say. It's a divine connection that bridges the gap between our human limitations and God's infinite wisdom. As we come to the end of this enlightening journey, let's remind ourselves of the key points we've learned. We began by exploring the term intercessor, a role characterized by advocating, supporting and standing in the gap for others. We discovered that the Holy Spirit is not just an abstract concept, but our personal intercessor who pleads on our behalf, even when we lack the words to articulate our deepest needs and desires. We then delved into the active role of the Holy Spirit's intercession in our daily lives. This isn't a distant, detached process, but a deeply intimate one. Through the Holy Spirit's intercession, our prayers are refined and aligned with the perfect will of God enabling us to move towards spiritual growth and transformation. Remember, when you find yourself at a loss for words, the Holy Spirit is ever ready to intercede on your behalf, aligning your prayers with the perfect will of God.